When I flush, where does that go? What if I stink? Tomorrow I'm flying to Zanzibar. Alrighty guys. It's one of the things I love about flight attendant life. Good morning you guys. Happy Monday. Welcome to a new video. It's me, Andy. If you're new here and you have no idea who I am, I am a Johannesburg-based flight attendant. I fly for one of our local airlines over here. It is currently 3.45 in the morning and I'm just putting the rest of my face on. Well, I'm gonna do half of my face because we're still wearing masks. Um, I'm putting makeup on because I have a flight today. I was not initially flying today. I actually had home standby. So last night, Rosters called me and they told me that I've been assigned this flight. Sign on is at 5 a.m. and we are flying down to Cape Town, turning right around and flying back to Joburg. So we should actually be done by, I think, 11 a.m., which is awesome because it's actually a nice early day because tomorrow I have a little bit of a longer day. I prefer being called out on standby like the day before because like, could you imagine if they called me out at like, four o'clock in the morning to say that i should be at work at five o'clock in the morning like no thank you no luckily whoever couldn't make it on this flight let rosters know yesterday so it gave me enough notice that i could like prepare myself and stuff the night before sometimes stuff happens like if a crew member's on their way to work and they get ill or they get into an accident battery dies and the car just doesn't switch on those kind of things happen and if the person's already like 20 minutes away from work then somebody else might need to be called out with some very 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 short notice so that's why we have standby but anyway i'm currently getting ready i have like 10 minutes before i need to well like maybe 15 before like I really 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 need to be out of here. I have not been doing a full face of makeup at all. Right now like you can see like my chin has no makeup on it whatsoever. It stops pretty much here. Because I'm wearing a mask during all of my flights and I don't remove my mask at all unless I'm like drinking water, drinking a coffee or having something to eat quickly. So I guess I'll chat to you guys later when I'm back home to tell you about my flights today. And if only I could hold Yet keep my head from going under. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house to stay home with my soul. Alrighty, guys, we have landed in the bright and beautiful Cape Town. As you can see, there's a KLM plane parked over there. We're parked next to a Kalula plane. We are currently refueling. We came down with 141 passengers and the flight took an hour and 50 minutes and it was actually really cool. Let's keep, spinning. Let's keep playing these games that we don't want to finish. And I'm sorry if that sounds a bit bitter, but I am to the core. You want the whole damn thing? And we're done with the day. I love days like this. It is just after 12 in the afternoon. I had to stop by the store quickly on my way home, but we landed at like 10, 40 or something like that. We were done nice and early. We signed off by like 11 a.m. today and it's crazy that it's not even lunchtime and I'm done with my work day. It's one of the things I love about flight attendant life. Some days I start work at like 3 p.m. and finish at like 10 p.m. and other days I start my day at like 5 a.m. but I'm done before lunchtime. So this works for me. Anyway, today's flights are really good. I told you guys about our first flight. On our second flight, we had 149 passengers and the flight was about an hour and 52 minutes or something like that. Everyone was really chilled, really sweet as well. When they were getting off, they were all really appreciative. I was flying one right up front with my senior. The crew were really chilled. Like I said, the passengers were really chilled. It was such an easy morning, to be honest. Like I'm going to try to fit in a workout right now, even if it's like a quick like 15 minute thing. 
because I want to tire myself out because tomorrow I have a really long day so I want to get as much sleep as possible and usually I need to be tired in order to like go to bed early and stuff so I'm gonna fit in a quick workout then have a shower and then I'm gonna have like lunch I do want to show you guys what I pack in my bag because in my last video one of you guys commented asking if I can show you just to show you guys what I put in my little cabin bag suitcase as well as my handbag purse I know I've shown this in previous videos but some of you guys are new to the channel so i'll go over it again real quick we do have required items that we legally cannot operate a flight without so i'll show you guys those and i'll also show you guys like other things that i like to bring just for like convenience and then like my lunch bag i think i showed in my last video i will show you guys what i'm gonna pack for tomorrow because tomorrow did i tell you where i'm flying to tomorrow tomorrow i'm flying to zanzibar <laughs> so we have one regional route in my airline we do usually fly only around south africa but we also have a regional flight that we operate that is to Zanzibar, Tanzania. It's about a three and a half hour flight and it is probably our most interesting flights because our passengers are usually like going on holiday because Zanzibar is quite a holiday destination. We've also got some business passengers, but it's mostly people that are like really excited and in a good mood and ready to go on holiday or people that are a bit depressed because they've spent all their money on their holiday and they're on their way back home now. So I love those flights. I haven't done it since pre-covid or no not pre-covid but like the beginning of covid before our lockdown i don't even remember how everything works i do know that we are doing a limited service on our zanzibar flights right now so we'll see how that goes obviously i'll fill you guys in on everything but yeah i'm super excited let me quickly get this workout in and i'll chat to you guys when i am packing my cabin bag and all that stuff I can't sit still for a minute. I'm so dead set on indifference. Keep it Charlie, stay down with them dickens. Let's get around like it's the 80s. Right round, let's keep spinning. Let's keep playing these games that we don't want to finish. And okay, I'm I've so done things. I've had a shower. I don't really need to pack anything specific for my bag because everything stays pretty much the exact same in my cabin bag. Okay, so inside my cabin bag is nothing super interesting. I have a packing cube that just has some extra pieces of uniform as well as like pajamas basically in case I ever end up in a hotel and need to like have a change of clothes with me and then the uniform the extra uniform we carry in case like you know you spill coffee on yourself or something like that so you need to always have that that's the only thing in here that is required is my spare uniform pieces as well as my in-flight shoes but everything else is just like whatever I felt like adding pretty much in this little baggie is my in-flight shoes these are flats flats I can't remember if I got these from Mr. Price or pick and pay clothing but they were like 80 rand <laughs> And they're actually super comfortable. So when I walk through the airport, I wear heels. And then when I get on the plane, I change into flats. And then when I get off the plane again, I have to wear heels. Basically, anytime you're going to be walking through the airport, you have to wear heels. This is just an extra jersey, uniform jersey. In case I get cold in the cabin, I can quickly grab it. This is one of those amenity kits that you get from Ethiopian. But I'm basically using it as my extra toiletry bag because it's nice and small and compact you can hang it up in the hotel room i've got a toothbrush in there a little toothpaste and then i've just stuffed a roll on in there and then i've got like some lotion but usually whatever hotel we go into will have like lotion and shampoo and stuff but i'll just carry a small one just in case because you never know that goes over there oh in here in my little side pocket i also have extra stockings i think i have two yeah i have i have the knee high extra stockings for in case I'm wearing pants. Blackmail is this is the color that we have to wear. So I have knee highs in case I'm wearing pants and then I have like full stockings in case I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, right? And then I've also got some extra feminine products in here and then I've got some Uno cards. This is the most important thing that's in my cabin bag. <laughs> Because if we have to sit in the airport for three or four hours, sometimes it's fun to just bring out some Uno cards and play a game with the crew to make the time pass by just a little bit faster, you know? Okay, so that was my suitcase. In my handbag is where majority of my required items stay because it's just easier to access them if they're in my handbag. It's a hot mess right now because I just came back from a flight, but that's basically what it looks like right off the bat. I'll just go through everything. Our first required items to bring to work is a torch that works. See? 
as well as a spare set of batteries for that torch because during takeoff and landing we have to carry a torch and it has to work in case we have to evacuate especially at night oh i have liquid eyeliner for no reason this is meant to be in my makeup bag pair of earphones in case i have a long airport sit and want to watch a youtube video or something like that lip butter and then i have an extra pen i also have antiperspirant deodorant and perfume body spray. You know when you're doing the demo and your arm is like this over passengers? Like, I get so self-conscious about that. So every time when I'm about to step out and do the demo, the first thing I actually do is just like spray my armpits because you never know. And like, we run around so much during boarding. I'm always worried like, what if I stink by the time I do the demo? It's a real worry in my mind. So I also have my paperwork file. This has things like my pre-flight checklist for if I'm going to be checking my equipment and stuff. I also stick a few extra black face masks in there. I can't really show you guys this because it is company specific. It's not for the public so as long as you know I have like very important paperwork that stays in there. I have my little wallet. I have my crew card which I can't really show you guys. My wings. I have a bottle of sanitizer. Hand lotion obviously very important. I got this specific hand lotion from my beauty advent calendar from the body shop last year that I opened during vlogmas so if you haven't seen any of those videos if you haven't watched that playlist press the eye in the sky and you can check it out. It was a really good time. A Sudoku book. Again, if I have an airport set, I just started this one because I've literally just finished another Sudoku book because it's it's the best. Sometimes we really spend majority of our days just sitting at the airport not doing very much. A handful of Hall's throat lozenges because you never know, why not? And then I have this little baggie. I was gifted this little makeup bag from Escape Society when I made a video about their suitcase. But so this bag, I just keep a little bit, it's like my own little mini first aid kit in here. I have, oh, I have chocolate in here. Okay. Whenever the pilots go and buy coffee, they always bring us back chocolates from Vita Cafe and I always just throw it in my bag because I'm never really in the mood for chocolate. I'm not a huge chocolate person, but it's in there for just in case. The most important thing in here is my soul fire sauce from chicken liquor because you never know what food you're eating that might need some hot sauce gazillion different plasters i have some med lemon some nasal spray i've also got some indigestion tablets these are rennie's nausea medication technically i'm not allowed to give medication to passengers so this is literally for my own personal use i used to have headache tablets in here but i don't really like taking headache tablets while i'm at work I'd rather just suffer through the pain. So yeah, that is what is in this little baggie, in this little zipped up bag. The two most important things in my bag. Literally the two most important. I have my cabin crew license. You all, I've spoken about this multiple times before. This is, this is literally what allows me to do my job. It's what qualifies me to do my job. This is the thing that keeps a record of my training. You are not getting on a plane if you forget this at home. I've also got my passport this is my main passport i have two passports because i used to fly for a charter company and we were required to have two passports for them i also have my yellow fever card which records all of my previous vaccinations that i've gotten that is everything that i keep in my cabin bag and in my handbag good morning guys hi it's the next day and i'm just about to put on my uniform and head out the door 25 past 4. I should be heading out of here in 5 minutes. <laughs> Whenever I have just like a flight there and back, like a Cape Town and back or a Durban and back or something like that, I don't pack makeup because usually my makeup lasts long enough. But if I have like a foreleg or if I have like today's really, really long flights, then I do bring makeup with me just so that I can touch up, you know, during the flight or something. I just want to touch up and look nice and usually especially pre-pandemic when we were when we weren't wearing masks i would definitely definitely have makeup with me on every single flight regardless of how many legs i was flying but i think today just because it is a little bit of a longer flight and because it's so humid in tanzania i definitely want to bring makeup because i don't want to look all sweaty and gross for the flight coming back <laughs> No. We had to go through passport control. It's so empty. How pretty the sunrise is. 
And then I see an A350. Oh, my word. That's so crazy. Our plane is so small compared to the A350. But that's a beautiful plane, shame. It's because we used to have Wi-Fi. Yeah, and then it stopped working. I don't know. Ugh. It is proper raining and coming down in Zanzi. So, yay. Cleaners have come and gone. We are currently just waiting for our next few passengers to come. Luckily, we landed at about 10.30 and it is now 11.30 and we should be taking off again at 12, but we're just waiting for our passengers to arrive then we can start boarding. Our flight coming in was really super chill. The passengers were all cool. We had 171 passengers. There was like a group of 30 uh, co-workers going on vacation together. There was a few newly married couples and just normal couples going on like anniversary trips and stuff. So that was really cool to see. Everyone is in very good spirits. And then going home, our flight is supposed to be about three hours and 15 minutes and we should have 183 passengers so it's going to be another full flight the service was interesting because like i told you guys we're doing a limited service so we don't have like sandwiches and all that stuff because that's not sealed you know not like a can of pringles would be um so yeah it's been interesting it's very limited it's not what we used to have there's no alcohol so people are like in in high spirits wanting to be in like vacation mode and get a drink and we're like sorry I can't give you